Hey guys! Have you ever felt that your mind controls you? Don't you ever feel that you go somewhere but you absolutely have no clue how you got there? That you're so distracted that you end up procrastinating for the whole day? Well, we do. So why don't you stick around because we want to understand this, don't you? It's Vera and Lucky here. Every week we spill out valuable tips, tricks and hacks on happy and healthy lifestyle. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you are really interested, turn on the notification bell uh, to stay updated of the beautiful journey. And guess what? We're on Instagram too. You'll find inspirational posts, recipes and workouts. And if you like the content, give us a follow and join this community. So all that said, in this video, we want to cover what we mean by mind, why it's so important to focus on your mind health, what are the challenges and the difficulties of understanding how you can implement a healthy mind. And last but not least, we want to also talk a little bit about the connection between mind and the other two elements of the complete formula, which is food and gym. But we want to emphasize one thing before we start this video. This is a journey. In this video, we will share some options of how you can improve your mind health and much more deep dives on upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so what is mind? Our mind is a beautiful place when billions of thoughts come and go every second. Have you ever taken a moment to understand what actually these thoughts and this emotion mean? Whether they are positive, whether they are negative, what does it mean to be happy, to feel anxious, to feel sad? Interesting, huh? Don't you sometimes feel that your mind has its own word and it simply controls you? I do. That is why we should be wanting to tame the flow of these thoughts. Accept them, first of all, embrace them and let them go. So that we actually harness the true power of the mind. And also, very often, we tend to reject the negative feelings, but it's completely not the way our mind works. As I mentioned before, the proper approach is to first accept them, embrace them and release them. Imagine that you have no control of your thoughts. And now imagine a stormy, murky, dirty glass of water which has been swirled around on a, on a daily basis. But what if you just let that glass sit, th sit down for a moment? The dust is gonna settle or the dirt's gonna settle and you're gonna start seeing very clearly through the water. Well, it's only when that happens that your mind and your body will start to work in harmony. So what are these main key roles of of the mind, capability for intellect, the ability to empathize, and the option to regulate. The ability to be intellectual. I mean, this is, this is a very obvious one, right? We can read, we can write, we can speak, we can, we can draw something, we can, we can make a video. That's, that's how we started this, right? We had an idea, we sat down, we scripted it, then, then we did a rehearsal, turned on a couple of lights, started talking into a camera, I thought, you know what? We're gonna share these insights with you. And just like that, I'm pretty sure that you can walk down and do whatever you want or uh, go to the gym. That requires some sort of intellect. And that is because of the mind. Those billions and millions of electronic impulses working through the mind and brain with your body to make that happen. Number two, empathy. The one thing that differentiates us from the beasts. We have the ability to be perspective thinkers or emotion generators. Just like Vera said, we can, we cry, we, we feel anger, we feel jealousy, we feel happiness, we feel content. All of these emotions and the ability to feel those emotions is because we have a very heightened and an evolved mind. Across all of these emotions and empathy and perspective thinking, there's one thing that's common. You control it. And you control, therefore, the outcome as well. That ranges from negative extremes of jealousy, which is like, oh, do you know what? I want I want a house like that. Why do I not have a house like that? To, to the positive side, the extreme positive side of things where we try and feel the pain that someone else is going through. We put it, we, we put a, 
uh, we put a perspective lens, we fit into other, the other person's shoes and understand what that means. And, and we go that extra mile and even lend a shoulder and, and share that burden with those people. All due to the ability for us to have a perspective and emotional thinking. Another role of our mind, very important, is regulation. Our mind health affects and influences our overall health, our body health. So you can't be healthy, your body can't feel well without taking care of your mind. Let me take an example of meditation and correlation actually of meditation and bloatation. Hashtag meditation can cure bloatation. It's very simple. By overcoming a stress in your body, mm -hmm. you can cure many things like, let's like say, bloatation, like right? bloatation. So everything which uh, is caused by stress can be overcome and can be cured and treated by meditation. Simply as that, by taking care of, of your mind. So here we want to share and discuss with you why mind health is largely and constantly ignored. On this channel we'll show you, we'll share with you the first step you can take to actually improve your uh, mind health, what is meditation and why you should practice that, what is mindfulness, what is mindful eating and how to manage the stress levels and also free meditation tutorials. Stay tuned for that. So as we prove that mind health is very important, let's discuss now why it is so crucial. On daily basis, we are drawn to many thoughts and because of that thoughts, we put a lens on actually how we see work on daily basis. From a comment on your Instagram post, to a heart-wrenching romance, to soothing music of a symphony, to just, just a conversation with your partner or your colleague at work. Every single one of these take you through a myriad of journeys, not physically, but mentally. If that is the case, why should we care? Well, let's figure it out now. Loss of peace. This is a selfish one. Do you want to feel, do you, do you want to feel not distracted? Or do you always feel like time flies and you just don't have the time to take a, take a pause and just enjoy life? Well, you should. And I think just like Vera said, the, the, the key or the rule of thumb is acknowledge the thoughts, note them, maybe even reflect when required, then release them. We're flooded with millions of those thoughts, so don't harp on every single thought that comes your way. Just select the ones that actually require your thought process and your effort. The rest? Think about it, let it go. Another very important reason, uh, I guess, or I bet you can relate to this, is lack of focus. So probably every time when you have very important task at work or you're trying to prepare to the exam, you're forcing yourself to concentrate and to focus. And funny enough, at the same very moment, uh, you're not able to. And our environment doesn't help at all, ranging from the notification on our phone to daily deliver deliveries we get. We keep rushing, we don't stop, and we are not present, we don't have time to reflect. And to compound this problem, we are always asked to multitask. Probably you've heard this many times. Which further challenges our ability to focus. Actually, have anyone ever taught you how to focus? <laughs> yeah, you go to like a sixth grade class and you have a, you have a textbook about, this is how you have to focus. Yeah. But I guess you are perfect in distraction, this is yeah. certain. So maybe the secret is monotasking. Don't you think? Let's consider it next time. Sticky <sighs> moods or mood swings. Have you ever had a thought go across your mind which is pretty negative? And I don't think we know the answer for this one, but we tend to grab onto those negative thoughts very quickly. We hold on to them, we attribute more negative thoughts to them. Well, funny enough, you continue that vicious cycle and a snowball effect happens and it's the end of the day and you've, you've pretty much ruined the day with all of your negative thoughts. The solution for this one is, is easier said and done, but the whole point is to, to focus on the controllable but not the uncontrollable. It's like you can't control everything in the environment but you can control how you perceive that environment and you interact with that environment. So focus on on that side of things rather than trying to change the full environment. Very nicely said. Didn't script this. Every day we're absorbing and we are overwhelmed by negative thoughts and emotions which impact our chemical reaction in our body, our hormones resulting from autoimmune diseases to our gut health. And you don't want me to elaborate a bit more about this, but... That'll take pretty much a couple yes, of hours, no? I'm a very big fan of gut health, but <laughs> research has proven a strict correlation between our mind health and our gut health. Yeah, there's more and more research coming out recently than, than 20 years ago, right? So 
we'll, we'll link some of the research down in the description as well. Maybe one last point, relationship dynamics. We work with people on a daily basis. Our thoughts drive a lot about how we manage our relationships with people. That includes your partner or the work uh, or your colleagues at work or your family. Sometimes when, when you're annoyed and angry, you tend to use these people around you as punching bags or the same people you cherish when you're happy and, and hunky-dory. And I think this disrupts the type of relationship that you have with these people and naturally drive these people away. Well, I don't think you want that or we don't want that. So the first thing is be conscious of the fact that you might be doing this. That's enough. And I think the rest just comes naturally. Given that we've gone on a long rant about why it's important to focus about your mind, it all boils down to one thing and one thing only. The mind is your biggest competitor, like no doubt. Think about it. Think about a very daunting and challenging situation, whether it's going up the stage to talk to a thousand people if, if you have stage fear, or starting to write a book. Whatever that may be, that daunting challenge, the first thing or the only reason that it might stop you doing that is your mind. So don't make it your enemy, make it your friend. To re-emphasize what Blackie just said and to summarize that part of the video, noting and acknowledging without judging would be a rule of thumb. If you want to get more inspired and you want to know a bit more about mind health, we link down below uh, some very inspiring videos, TED Talks. We are a very big fan of TED, so yeah. hopefully you are too. And also, if you want to share your knowledge and your insights on mind health, please comment below, share your own knowledge with us because we are perpetual students, so. Yeah, and we're not meditation or mind yeah. experts, so let's help each other. So guys, let's jump in to the complications and challenges because there is money, because you don't do it, you don't care about your mind. So <laughs> let's just answer the question why. Mind health is intangible in comparison to other elements, food and mind. And this is the biggest challenge, and that is why it's the biggest reason why it's largely ignored. You can see immediate effect when you go to the gym, when you start eating healthy, you can have great results in two weeks, right? You lose weight, you feel better, you, your body will change and transform. But with mind, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to recognize the changes. But with mind, it takes a big deeper to recognize and understand development and resilience you've built. Well, I'll give you a personal experience. It's been, I think, about six years now. I was very quick to temper. I was the person who would pick up a laptop and throw it out of the window if I'm that pissed off. I've worked on it. I worked on it significantly for the last six years. And I think meditation was one of the things that helped me, but it's only maybe after about five years, I actually see the benefit that the focus on mind and meditation has helped me to calm myself down, be less quick to anger and be a more calmer person. The second complication is quite natural in, in the current environment. It's a problem that we have with with selecting the right food to the right activity. And it's the same with mind. You have millions of meditation apps, you have a bunch of yoga retreats, spa sessions, all focused on relaxation, this than the other about the mind. These are probably very good options, not saying that they're not. However, the human mind is programmed in such a way, wait, there's too much information, I'm confused, I ain't gonna do nothing about it. Again, you step back, you don't do something for your mind, thus neglecting and ignoring. And I think that's why we emphasize on taking basic steps, baby steps. We didn't wake up one day and go on a three week yoga retreat, which is gonna revolutionize our mind health. And um, we started by turning off our electronic devices, waking up and sitting down for just three minutes just no stimulation. Um, now we spend about 15 minutes every morning when we wake up meditating. So we attribute that to progression and smaller baby steps. Another challenge is that it's simply difficult. You struggle, you don't know what to do with this, so you just simply avoid it. And to compound to this problem is the fact that it's the most stubborn part of who you are. Like you develop these this habits over the whole lifetime. So as like you mentioned before, baby steps will help you gradually introduce that change to your life. And also, we've mentioned this in uh, our previous videos, when you think of changing anything in your life, probably the first thought which comes to your mind is struggle. You couldn't be more wrong. Let's take an example of meditation. 
Meditation is <laughs> not about achieving, doing, struggling. It's actually about simply letting go. So if you think of a struggle when it comes to meditation, it's a bit weird when purely it's about enjoying a present. <laughs> Lastly, it's our environment. No fault of yours or ours. It's just the way we've evolved. A full sense of success every single time based on the number of notifications that we get on an Instagram post. The fact that we chase all different beliefs of success, whether it's a fancy car or a big house. The fact that we are expected to multitask on our nine to five job, sitting at a computer. All of these things just tend to drive your mind on a roller coaster of emotions, beliefs and thoughts. But wait, you haven't taken a moment to just even be aware. That drives your mind health completely out of whack. So those are the main challenges and the complications that we find in how and why people find it very difficult to improve their mind health. Last but not least, we're getting to the connection between the other two elements of the complete formula, gym and food. Maybe it's obvious, maybe it's not. To control and drive any change in your life, you need the support of your mind. Think about it, a new way of eating, a new exercise routine, a decision to be more active. Whatever they may be, you need the support of your mind. You want it to come along. So there in itself lies the connection that we are referring to between gym and food. Just like Lucky said, whenever we doing something in our life and we are not doing this mindfully, we actually miss it. And just to summarize, nourishing our mind and taking care of our mind in the same way the food nourishes our body is very important. We shouldn't just simply assume that our mind will be healthy without doing anything to keep it healthy. That's it for this video. And as a takeaway, when you get that one minute, just think about it. Did I do something today to improve my mind health? I hope you did. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It was an absolute pleasure. We hope this video helped you gain some more insights on how to live a very happy and healthy lifestyle. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up because it will really support our journey and our takeoff. And also, if you have any suggestions, any question, please comment below or even say hi. Kindly share the video and help people join and be part of this beautiful community with you. Thank you very much and we will see you in the next video.